Okay, so hey all you music makers out there, James Russell here and welcome to episode 4. Episode 4 on which door is right for you. So, so far I've covered Pro Tools, I've covered Ableton, I've covered Logic. Today I'm going to do Cubase. Cubase one of the top 3, essentially the holy trinity I've been mentioning, of Pro Tools, Cubase and Logic. Um, it's a fully featured door. Um, it's available on multiple platforms and essentially um, Cubase is definitely one of the preferred options used in many studios around the planet. Um, some people love it, some people hate it. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. Cubase, roll the tape. Okay, so Cubase. Well, funnily enough, actually, I first started using Cubase back in the 90s when it was called Cubase VST. It was one of the original ones to start up. And Cubase, um, still to this day, has got a, a decent share of the market, especially in the European studios. A lot of people like Cubase because it's Steinberg, it's German built. Um, so a couple of the pros and a couple of the cons of Cubase. Um, it's a fully featured door, so it's generally it's pretty good to mix in. Um, Cubase and Logic, as I mentioned in a couple of the other videos, um, they essentially, as far as the top three, they are the innovators of this pack. Avid's not really known for innovating that much. Um, Avid happens to be the industry standard. Maybe it's because of that they're not really quick to pick up features. But uh, Cubase definitely is sort of in a war with Logic to try and make sure they can get as many features for their users as possible and to make the package as attractive as possible. So Cubase is up to a 9.5 incarnation. I think Logic's at 10. Essentially Cubase is a fully featured door, so what it means is it's got a generally it's got a mix window and an arrangement window. Um, you can work it across multiple monitors. As I mentioned it before, um, it's also available on multiple platforms, which is good. Some of the pros of Cubase. Um, Cubase is really quite good when dealing with audio. Um, it's pretty much up there with um, Pro Tools or pretty darn close anyway. Um, it's good as far as MIDI features. So some of the pros, Cubase is actually quite good at um, dealing with audio, it's probably one of the better ones, um, although at that level when it comes to Logic, Cubase and Pro Tools, they're all kind of a muchness but at the same time some excel a little bit more than others. Cubase is pretty good at dealing with audio. When it comes to its features, it's got a lot of great features like Logic and I mentioned before that Pro Tools doesn't have this but both Logic and Cubase have flex time and flex pitch capabilities within the program, meaning that you don't have to get a separate, um, very expensive plug-in like Melodyne to do your tuning for your vocals or any other instrument you've done. Um, that's a really big deal. Melodyne is expensive, and to have tuning inside a music production program just makes sense. Still don't understand why um, Pro Tools don't do that, but just about all these others do have that kind of feature, and tuning is such a big part of music production, it's certainly worth, worth considering. Cubase also runs its own plugin protocol, which is probably the most recognized protocol um, around, which is VST. There are many great little boutique developers that have great little plugins that you can use in Cubase, and so that's a really big bonus. Also, as far as this instrumentation, well, Cubase is certainly up the game because I think Logic is streaking ahead. It's still not quite as good as Logic is as far as instrumentation, but there's some pretty good solid instruments when it comes to um, Cubase and some of the features it's got. So there, quick rundown on some of the pros, the way it deals with audio and its ease of use, um, some of the features it's got, like flex time and flex tune. Um, also, basically, the VST protocol is widely recognised as probably the most used. As far as this instrumentation, I don't think it's as good as Logic. It took a while for their sampler to catch up, but they're still relatively decent sound banks. As far as some of the other cons, there's one really big one that I can't get past, and that's the interface, man. Now, I know this is music production, but that interface is so damn ugly, man. I just can't watch Navy Blue all the time. I know it's supposed to be good for the eyes, but for some reason, uh, Cubase always feels like it's the ugly cousin of the other two. They seem really well designed, and their interface is quite beautiful. And if you're going to spend that amount of time looking at something, you do want it to be kind of pleasing to the eye. And this is just me personally. I don't find that Navy Blue that pleasing. And just some of the formats, the way they're set out, you can't colour tracks as well as you can in Pro Tools, those kind of things. So the interface is probably the biggest factor for me when it comes to Cubase. I have tried to desaturate it and turn it to grey, but generally as part of that interface is still a bit ugly. Now there's people out there that probably disagree with me and love the interface of Cubase, but I'm not a big fan. So that's some of the cons. Okay, so who is Cubase built for? Well Cubase, especially because it's multi-platform and both on PC and Mac, for anyone who's got a PC and they want to get into a full-fledged door and they're not into getting into Pro Tools or they um, they find Pro Tools' learning curve maybe a bit steep, Cubase is definitely for you. Cubase is also pretty fantastic if you want to do traditional mixing and work with rock bands. Um, its I.O. setup plays pretty well with others, but um, also if you want to write things like dance music, a lot of people use Cubase. So there's a lot of people out there that swear by Cubase. Cubase is definitely for someone who's got um, either a Mac or a PC 
um, wants to get into music production and probably finds Pro Tools a little bit intimidating or for some reason doesn't want to go with Pro Tools. So anyway, that's a quick little review on which door is right for you. Um, totally unscientific. I'm James Russell. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button, hit subscribe or leave me a comment down below if you want me to cover something and I'll catch you next episode.